In North Carolina, they want to pass a law where they say, we don't want your Sharia law. We only want our Sharia law. Of course, uh, when they think about how Islam might be invading North Carolina, they get chills down their spine. Now, Oklahoma already trying to ban Sharia law, and the court said, don't be ridiculous. You can't pass a law against one particular religion as if Islam was about to take over Oklahoma. Well, in North Carolina, they're equally paranoid, and so now they know that what they have to do instead is ban foreign law application. So they have a bill now being considered, and it has already uh, gone through a number of stages in North Carolina, uh, where they would say, okay, we're not going to have foreign law considered in North Carolina, we'll tell you that. Well, somebody asked State Representative Tim Moore, when's the last time a foreign law was taken into account in North Carolina, and I love this quote. State Representative Tim Moore told WRAL.com that he does not know of any instances of foreign law being used in the state's courts, but that a statute is needed to prevent it from happening. <laughs> All right, I guess we can pass any kind of law indeed, right? I'll tell you what, we are not going to allow any crocodile slash rhinoceros combinations to eat any man slash horse combinations in the state of North Carolina. That's not going to happen, not on our watch. This is so goofy. What are you guys so worried about? What, how could Islam institute Sharia law in North frickin Carolina? But they're not alone. It's not just Oklahoma and North Carolina. These are the other states that have banned foreign laws. Arizona, Idaho, Kansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, South Dakota, and Tennessee. This is insanity, man. Now, but here's where it gets fun and ironic. Now, as they're pushing this bill through the legislature, they have a brilliant idea at the last second. Hey, you know what? Let's put an abortion bill in there. Now, what would the bill do on, on that? Well, it would, say, it would say that the clinics have to meet the same standards as ambulatory surgery centers. Now, this is very important because that knocks out almost all the clinics in North Carolina. Only a couple would be left. It would place limits on health care coverage for abortion procedures. It would require clinics to have transfer agreements with hospitals and require doctors to be present when women take RU486, which is totally unnecessary. So basically very similar to Texas, Ohio, where they s try to make sure that you really can't in practice get an abortion in the state of North Carolina, no matter what the Supreme Court said, no matter what the law of the land is. They don't care. They want to make sure that it's as hard as possible, and if they can, doesn't exist in North Carolina. Now, the great irony of this, of course, is that they do that because of their own religious beliefs. So, we don't want your Sharia law, but we love our Sharia law. Make sure that it applies to all of you. You don't believe the same thing I believe? Who cares? It's not like it's America or anything. It's not like it's a secular country. It's not like it, we don't have something in our Constitution that says you shall not establish a religion, right? North Carolina says, no, 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 that meant you shall not establish their religion. Of course we want to establish our religion. I think you might have misread the Constitution.